This Labor Day, the labor movement, the workers of the Bahamas, and indeed the Bahamians have much to be thankful for and much to celebrate, as Labor Day has been renamed Randall Fox Labor Day. The renaming of Labor Day to Randall Fox Labor Day is symbolic, historic, and recognizes a great Bahamian, a man of vision, courage, and commitment. A man who stood alone in the interests of labor and the working people. Sir Randall Fox contributed significantly in the attainment of majority rule, the women's suffrage movement, one man, one vote, the abolition of duplicitous voting, the establishment of the Department of Labor, etc. He led the 1958 strike, which marshaled in a new day in New Bahamas, and as a result, Prime Minister Perry Gladstone Christie, along with his government, saw fit with the backing of labor of the labor movement to institutionalize the struggle of the father of labor by enacting legislation making Labor Day Randall Fox Labor Day. The Commonwealth of the Bahamas Trade Union Congress congratulates the Prime Minister and his government for making Majority Rule Day a public holiday. That is a, a recognition of the free expression of the majority of the Bahamian people, which is most deserving. We again thank the Prime Minister and his government, the Minister of Labor, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigration for ensuring that an act of parliament was enacted within 12 months of being elected and to have amended the Industrial Relations Act to allow the registrar of trade unions to register industrial agreements as opposed to the industrial tribunal. As a result of the amendment to the Industrial Relations Amendment Act, the employer will no longer be able to frustrate the will and the wishes of the workers of the Bahamas. The House of Labor will become a historical site. We invite the Prime Minister to declare the House of Labor a historic site. And by so doing, it will assist the TUC in restoring that building to a building of prominence, which will house a museum, a library, training center, community center, for working people and visitors alike. The TUC will be requesting assistance from the government to have the House of Labor transformed into a historic site, which would house all of the above. This is a commitment the TUC made and is resolved to carry it out to the letter. And to that end, we are encouraged by the Prime Minister's sentiments. Needless to say, we will be calling on the Bahamian people, the working people, to make their contributions towards this end. As Sir Randall was a giant of a man and must be properly immortalized. The House of Labor, once renovated, would be used in part by all unions and workers alike to train and retrain workers in their respective discipline. We are committed to the above because we realize that education is the engine for development. Vocational training and interpersonal skills training are major components of the educational program of the TUC. Randall said we should solidify the position of labor and use one voice 
for the common good of the workers. And this is why we say, 40 years later, all working people must unite in order to compete within the global village. Education, programs, the TUC is committed and is connected with the UWI. And the intention is to attract as many workers as possible as we try to ensure that Bahamians remain the preferred worker for hiring purposes. Present industrial situations. Sandals Royal Bahamian has decided not to meet with the union. Such behavior is inviting confrontation and is a complete disregard of our labor laws by failing to meet and treat with the union after recognition was granted and certified by the Ministry of Labor. We call on the Minister of Education to meet with the Bahamas Educators Managerial Union to begin contract negotiations. We are satisfied that after one year of trying to secure a meeting, it cannot be considered to be unreasonable. We look forward to a meeting at the earliest possible date. We invite the government to examine the work permit scenario and the Grand Bahama Power Company because professionals are being replaced by persons other than qualified Bahamians. The industrial agreement at Modern Salt in Inagua, we hope to complete during the week of August 12, 2013. The workers at the container port and the shipyard in Freeport should be allowed to be given the first op option in any job situation in the container port operations. The TUC will work assiduously in ensuring that all workers who are desirous of joining a union be allowed to do so without interference by anyone. Crime. The TUC is committed to working with the government and the NGOs on any crime initiative to assist in bringing the situation under control. Crime is everybody's problem. The blame game has to go and let us collectively pool our, resor our resources together. With the help of God, we ought to be able to make a difference. So as we celebrate this Labor Day, let us reflect on what Sir Randall endured and dared to stand for. There were those who said that Labor Day was only for the royal family. Sir Randall defied that position and persevered, which resulted in Labor Day being established in honor of his work. And in that regard, we say, we say pay, we pay tribute to recognize that there is dignity in work and that workers play an integral part in the development of any nation and Bahamian workers aren't any different. As we celebrate a man of substance, let us unite as he admonished us for the good of ourselves, our unions, and indeed our country. May the working people of the Bahamas have a wonderful Randall Fox Labor Day. May God bless you and may God bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas.